I guess this is the Mila show. I want to welcome y'all to my life. Every day, something crazy is happening to me. This is story time with Mila. Today, I want to share a time very recent that happened to me, and it involves somewhere that you may shop regularly, Kroger. I decided to go to Kroger's one day, late after work, and I was exhausted. I was about as tired as one of the Indian women that work at the Nike factory. I just want to say in this situation, I did nothing wrong. So, if you ever question whether you should take your friend's advice, don't. Unless they're Lauren. Lauren knows what the fuck she's talking about. I mean it. All I did was take somebody's advice. On with the story. Not only am I tired, but I'm also hungry. And me, I like to shop for veggies. A girl needs to eat. I like to shop for fresh fruit. So I decide. You know what? I'm gonna go grocery shopping. A long time ago in the winter, I remember one of my friends, Alexis. Yes, Alexis. This is a shout out. She told me that usually when she buys apples, she just brings them in as limes. Maybe it wasn't really advice, but I took it as, hey, I'm telling you this because you might find it useful in your life. They've got to know that you got apples and not limes or two different sizes. And I said, you get away with bringing them in as limes? And she's like, yeah, I mean, they don't ever check. I guess that makes it okay. I decide to bring in these apples as limes. Now, I know everybody's saying, your conscience should have told you, those are three large apples. And when you set them on the scanner to weigh them, something's gonna go wrong. Nope, it was all rainbows and sunshine. I haven't seen rainbows and sunshine since. So I put three apples in. Mind you, these are like the last couple things I have to put in my bag. And I'm one of those people who doesn't even use the plastic bag. So it's not like they'd be like, oh, well, let me dig through everything. I set all my shit out because I end up bagging it up myself, put it in paper bags or put it in bags that I bring. That's what I get for being green. The thing pops up and it says, well, set your fruit on the scanner. And I set my fruit on the scanner. This beeping goes off. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. What the fuck? Beep, beep. I knew I was wrong. My mascara is burning. I knew I was wrong. As soon as I press the lime button. Just let me know when it's my time to go. The cops are gonna be here. <laughs> Why do these have fuzz on them? Mom, they're not mine, I swear. This shit is actually on fire. This is not funeral mascara. Father God and Kroger's, I just ask for your forgiveness. If I was given a second chance, I would never bring an apple in as a lime, I swear. Hold on, let me blow my nose real quick, shit. Not a day in my life have I ever been a criminal. And I'm not gonna start today. After being humiliated, all I could say was, you know, I'm so tired. I guess I just hit the wrong button. My friend Vanessa is checking out right next to me. You know what this man was probably thinking about me? You chose a lime instead of an apple? I'm a letter lie. Alexis has ruined my life and my reputation at Kroger. Next time you have some advice, keep it to yourself. Just ring stuff in as it is. If you bought a banana from Chiquita who dances with the fruit on her head, just fucking ring it in. Don't be extra and don't try to be less because I try to be less. I was at $1.74, ended up at $3.16. You know what, I could have taken that $3.16 with pride. I felt so guilty, I haven't even used my loyalty plus number in like three times. I'm lying. <laughs> Why would I not use my loyalty plus? My point is, when you go to checkout, just check out. Did you know you run the apples and as limes? 